most point in the United States, where carefree spirits run rampant. But it's not business as usual on Duval Street today, because everyone is on the outer mole. The Superboats are in town, and they're vying for the ultimate title in offshore powerboat racing world champion. Welcome to Paradise, the Florida Keys and Key West, where annually thousands of people come to enjoy the Fountain Key West Superboat World Championships. Hello everybody, I'm Jim Hendrick. The rich and famous are here. We've got it all. Exotic motorcycles, exotic cars, this helicopter. This is a Bell Jet Ranger. You think I'm at the airport? Wrong. Take a look. I'm on the 143-foot Starship, and there are a few other yachts that are moored alongside of us. They all come out, they all have fun, they all party, and we get to enjoy their toys. Think I'm wrong? Here's my partner, Stan Lane. He's riding around on one of them. Jim, you want to talk horsepower? Well, I'm on a 375 horsepower supercharged small block Chevy in Al Copeland's boss house, one of his 20 boss houses. When I get off this, I'm going to get on that 450 horsepower Lamborghini and go for a little cruise. This is SBI at its best. But if you think this is awesome horsepower, you ain't seen nothing yet. We're talking the biggest, fastest race boats in the world getting ready to hit the water at speeds approaching 170 miles per hour. So don't make a move. We're talking horsepower. And the horsepower will have to negotiate a five-mile lap going out the long way to checkpoint number one where they hit the wall of water. Then they'll turn south again. Stan, this is a very dangerous part of the course. Well, historically, it always has been, but today, Jim, is pretty smooth, so I'm looking for some great high speeds. Then we'll make that turn and head in towards the harbor for that huge crowd we have, great fans on hand. And let's check out now the Manufacturer's 2. Well, Bank of Bay Wild Chow going to get some competition here from Just Trucking as the boats get ready to start. And let's not forget about those extremely fast fountain boats. We'll check out the... The other uh, classes now as the boats mill, preparing to take off. Now, I want to tell the fans too, Jim, that we're going to see two separate races today. These, I say smaller boats are still huge, but the big boys, the real fast boats that run 170 miles an hour will be coming up a little bit later in this program. This is the second race of a two-day event and accumulative points, name your champions. Let's look at round number one. Well, we had a great race. Mikasuki Indian Gaming led almost the entire race, but then had mechanical problems, and Bermuda Barracuda came out on top in the stock division. And it was a pretty good day of racing. The water was uh, exceptionally nice for Key West also in round number one. Barracuda was the winner. Bodyguard second, Mikasuki Indian third, Supreme Marine, and Deep V Catamarans. A-11, the extinguisher, won in the production A-class in the first race of this two-race series. And F-1-71, Pantera Racing did a great job in Manufacturers 1. Congratulations, guys. Pantera Racing Team and Typhoon, 1-2 in that order. In Factory 2, a tremendous slugfest all day long. F-2-75, Fountain GMC led most of the race, but it was F-215 and Vince's Fountain who finally got the win. Now, F-276, Jim, the fountain boat, ran all day long in third place until this happened, upside down, Reggie Sr. and Reggie III, but they were okay, thankfully. Let's check out now the points as it was. In Mrs. Fountain, on top, Fountain GMC second with Yachts International in third. Jim caught up with Reggie earlier. After joining the ranks of the Upside Down Club, Reggie Fountain is beach today. What are you going to do during this race? Now, Jim, that's not very nice to say, but... Uh, yeah, we pushed a little hard yesterday. All our boats were so close together that uh, we tried to move in front. We caused, uh, caused ourselves a little problem out there, but fortunately with the canopies, we got out of it okay. Today, I'm going to be out there watching all of my boats out there. We, we, we finished well in the first uh, races in all the classes that we were in, and, and so I'm sort of out there uh, watching over the group and uh, trying to see that all of them get the best out of their boats, and if they do, I think fountains will be up front at the end of the day. Well, round one certainly exciting, but I'm looking forward to this round, Jim. Round number two, the boats are getting up on plane, and already Mikasuki Indian Gaming taking a little bit of a lead. They better not shotgun this start, Jim, or they'll be penalized. The rooster tails, the wakes are starting to rise as speed increases for this start, and we're on board the Barracuda. 
Jim they're getting a pretty good ride so far. You see that, that, that bow coming up. That means they are trimming the boat up high to get those top speeds. Now looking off the stern view of S49, pour it on from the Bahamas. They missed round one because of Hurricane Michelle, but they've made it for round two. We're glad to see them here. They're competitive to be sure. And don't forget that the Barracuda is looking to repeat after round one. They were the winners then. Here comes the start. It's the manufacturer's boat with Invences leading. Little conversation in the cockpit, Stan. Yeah, they're keeping track of their stable mates, the other fountains, but they got to watch a lot more boats than just the fountains, although the, the fountains have proved uh, to be so, so fast all year long. We have great racing already here on the waters of Key West. Jumping on board now, F221, just trucking. This boat does not have the uh, the safety uh, canopies on this boat. They are actually standing up. They got three men on board, a driver, a navigator, and a throttle man now. Back to the stock. This is the battle for first, and Mikasuki Jim makes the first turn. Followed very closely, Stan, by the S69 bodyguard. Remember, there are different classes racing today. They were looking for the world championship, the right to be the world champions in class, but there will be an overall leader, too. Jim, check it out, the stock class, third through fifth. My goodness there, Bermuda Barracuda must have gone off course. They made a sharp cut in there as they head to turn number one. Let's go back and take a look at this. On board, Bermuda Barracuda. They ran off course, now they got to overcompensate. And that was, ooh, Jim, that was close. Very, very close. We had a collision in round number one in the Superboat class when the Kim Chichuli boat was damaged. Don't want any more today. No, we don't. We do not want to see fiberglass shards all over the course. Not for this race. What was all that? Jeez. I have no idea what happened. They're trying to figure out what <laughs> happened themselves in the cockpit. Now the Inventus Fountain takes the lead from the left, and the Barracuda takes on more water. Inventus Fountain, winners in round one in Manufacturers 2, trying to win the World Championship here today. It is choppier today, but this boat is very versatile. We can run it wide open, air it out in smooth water, or tuck it in in the rough water, and I think we'll still be in front. But right now, they're not in front, but they are making some lead ways. We see all the boats now headed in to complete lap number one, but they're being led, Jim, by Mikasuki Indian Gaming. The Fountain Key West World Championships is brought to you by Fountain Power Boats, because there is a difference. By the Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. By Seminole Indian Casinos, catch the excitement and by Featherlight Trailers, the official racing trailer of SBI. Welcome back to beautiful Key West. I'm Jim Hendrick, along with Stan Lane for the Super Bowl World Championships here in Key West, Florida. Jim, a great race as always, SBI style. Checking out now S45 Gator Ford as they make their way down and to negotiate this turn. They're followed by S77, a brand new boat, AMT, and just trucking coming up on the outside. We'll have to maintain their lane as well. I'm going inside. I'm going inside. Go, 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 go
The S9 Miccosukee Indian Gaming and S69 Bodyguard paddling for that top spot as they go through the turn. And a beautiful turn by both boats. Boy, and they are giving no quarter to each other either. <laughs> they want to be world champions. Well, Gary Ballou and uh, Brett Fershman have teamed up in many exciting races and have been successful. Miccosukee, undisputed 2001 national champions, Gary. But today the worlds are on the line. But it appeared in round one he had a mechanical problem. Yes, Stan, we were out front. Uh, the AMT uh, Miccosukee Indian Gaming boat was uh, really crushing them. And uh, we had a little $5 part on the back snap. And uh, we ran on five cylinders for seven laps. But we still finished third. All right, well, being in third place with the third place points, will that cost you possibly the world championships? Or can you pull it out somehow? It's very possible. Uh, we did the math, and somebody else is going to have to break. But that's uh, what happened to us. So, you know, it could happen to somebody else. That's racing. You have to keep it together. And look at this battle for first place now. The Miccosukee Indian Gaming is passed by the S69 Bodyguard. What a race in this class. They are really dueling it out, to be sure, here on the waters of Key West. They're gone. On board Bermuda Barry Cuda, they're still, Jim, having some problems now. It's mainly navigational problems today for this team. From the Barracuda, now on board the S-49, pour it on. Our stern cameras and the speed, about 103 mile an hour. On GPS, looking at those twin outboard engines, 300 horsepower apiece, 600 combined, and there is your leader, S-69 Bodyguard. All the way from New York City, Jim. And they're taking a good bounce here in this area. They're hitting some rollers. And whoa! whoa they, oh, they sure did. Oh, I'll tell you right now, they got to trim that boat up because they're now, when they come up, they cock to the left and they could come down sideways and that would be all they wrote. Well, bodyguard being passed now by Factory 2 boat and Vince's Fountain, the deep V handling these, these rougher conditions better than the catamaran. They're actually running right now in quartering seas. That makes it very, very difficult to negotiate. Especially when you become airborne and your pop's not in the water. Cigarettes on the inside, I think. Yachts International, second in class and second overall. Team Yachts International, you're already 2001 national champions, but today the world championships are on the line. You're currently third place, but it's very, very close. Yeah, it's true, it's close. The fountain have been very fast, but uh, we have our chance today. The, little, uh, the water is getting a little more choppy, and we love that. We need that for our boat, and I hope we have, we have a good chance today. How are you guys figured as far as the boat attrition wise have you gone over every little thing on the boat to make sure nothing breaks well i think we're uh, all set for the race we just hope the wind is going to blow a little bit harder uh fountains are very fast on s smooth water this is a rough water boat and i think it will help if it's getting choppy the f21 yachts international trailing the f215 in vences fountain by just a few boat length as they come down to come into the harbor once again Let's not forget, Yachts International is the national champion, Jim. So next year in the regular SBI season, they'll wear the number one. Well, my friend, it's always a week-long party in Key West for the World Championships. First, we hit South Beach Duval. Then we checked out the Customs House. Had a great time there. And then Al Copeland, the Sultan of Swing, the party meister, threw a huge bash down on the outer mall. What a time was had by all, Jim. Pretty good-looking ladies, pretty good-looking guys, and good food, Stan. Understand there were, oh look, that's John Carbonell. He loved to eat. I understand that there were some injuries from food inhalation. <laughs> and a lot of movie stars and people you'd recognize were at the party. Here's one of them. Well, I've grown up on boats all my life, so, you know, and I live actually just about an hour away in Marathon, Florida. So, uh, well, the Keys. And, uh, you know, like super boats, like racing, like, uh, like the water in general. And I heard a lot of celebrities been coming down here too, so why not get involved? Nice young man, Nick. He and the Backstreet Boys doing very well on the pop charts. And then we got real involved on Duval Street, the one and only. Welcome back. The SBI racing is great, but the parties are even better. And Jim caught up with Al Copeland, who knows how to throw a party. Aboard the Cajun Princess, right here in Key West, right down by the start-finish line, Al Copeland, a legend in his own time, a world champion of the past, not racing anymore, but you still support the sport. Right. I love I love the sport. It's it's fun. I love 
I love coming out here, and I love bringing my boat, and I love my boat being the fastest. Uh huh. And all the toys that you bring, and lots of things have happened since we talked last year. New bride right next to you, and a new baby on the way. Yeah, well, she's a new bride for a while now, but almost a year. But, uh, yeah, and a new baby on the way. Uh, you know, it's wonderful. Jennifer, you, you've settled him down, honey. Congratulations. <laughs> No more racing, but you'll support the sport. Uh, listen, the only reason I don't race is because I, I had an accident and I had a spinal cord injury. And they say if I go out and race and uh, twist my neck the wrong way, I could come back in a wheelchair. So after 10 years of racing, I had to give it up. Always good to see you, and thanks for the party. No, it's my pleasure, always. Well, that Al Copeland looks younger every year, doesn't he? My hero. Back to the action on the water now. F-129 Typhoon Racing and A-11 Extinguisher are battling it out. Bow to bow, deck to deck. Open cockpits, they can feel the wind and the water is acting just right for this size boat. Into the harbor they come for the tight turn. Here's your F-171 Pantera Racing, leading in the Manufacturer 1 class. A sinister looking boat, 28 feet in length, a conventional DP 24 degree dead rise boat with a single 500 horsepower HP motor. L2-3 Wassup, leading in the Local 2 class. Three guys going for a fun ride. They sure are. This is a 32-foot deep boat. They're having a great time. On board the S-1 Bermuda Barracuda, gaining on the S-69 bodyguard. I'll stay in this wash, huh? Hey, up. And the Barracuda now has the stock lead. Jim, I knew it was just a matter of time before this championship team got their act together. Go ahead and cut her in there, Chris. Uh-oh. Oh. Kazuki Indian Gaming stopped in the water. Their day is done. Mm, that's a shame, too. They've done so well all year long for this to happen. It's terrible. We lost a cylinder on one of the motors. So. Does he say, Stan, that they lost a cylinder out of one of their engines? Yeah, that means they're down to five on one of those engines. That's going to cut their horsepower down dramatically. Invences Fountain, Yachts International, one and two overall, coming in for the checker flag. Drag race. It's a close race, a tight race, and who wins? Invences Fountain. Oh, Ready Fountain's gonna be a step. <laughs> Are they happy? <laughs> the thrill of victory. Here comes your S69 bodyguard, the stock class winner. And Jim, what a crowd we have there. You get a bird's eye view of it. Thousands and thousands of SBI fans. And here comes Bermuda Barry Cuda limping in. Yep, they had that cylinder let go in one of the engines. You heard him in the cockpit talk. But they are game. They are tough competitors. Consensus Fountain, your winner. We'll be back with more after this. A great crowd on hand witnessing the first round of action here today in the Super Bowl World Championships at Key West. In the first race, in the stock class, it is Bodyguard, the winner today, followed by Supreme Marine, poured on, and with a bad engine, Bermuda Barracuda finishes overall fourth. But the overall winner after two days of action is the Bodyguard. That water today roughened up enough for us to uh, get what we needed to get done on the outside leg. We had a big boat, and we need big water, and thank God the wind blew up today and gave us a little out in the back. In production A, Extinguisher wins for the second day in a row. They are the world champions. World champions in A-class, Team Extinguisher. Gary Guido, Pat Sullivan, great run today. It was. The water was nice today, Stan. Key West is always wonderful. Now, you guys have got two boats. They're both very, very successful. you got the power play, and you got this Fabio Bucci design. And uh, you guys have had just a successful team from the word go. Yes, the boats are both successful, boat winners, both champion boats. Moving on to Manufacturers 1, a great battle all day long. Typhoon and Pantera. Typhoon won, but Pantera is your world champion. Factory 1 winners, father and son team, Pepe and Joe Nunes. First place, first round, second place today. That's enough. Thank you very much. I'm just very happy because today was my first world championship win, and I had my dad with me in the boat. Which Listen, father and son team worked out pretty good. Man, it works out real good. It makes me very proud. And local two, your winner and champion, Waza. Invences Fountain with a first place finish today takes the manufacturers two race and their combined efforts in two days, they are the world champion.
Factory 2 2001 World of Champions. Roger, that's got to sound good. World Champions. Yeah, this <laughs> makes two times we've won this, this championship, and we were disheartened last year after coming out here and breaking on the first lap leading. And we, I told David we wanted to come back this year and win all the races, and we couldn't quite accomplish that. But we got down here, and it's just a great venue, great water. David did a heck of a job out there on the throttles, and we were able to bring home victories both days. Understand it wasn't quite as easy, David, as it looked out there. No, it wasn't easy at all. It was really quite surprising. We went out this morning. It was kind of calm out there, but it, it, the wind picked up as the day went on. It was really sloppy out there. As a matter of fact, we got up so high in the air one time, uh, the wind actually turned us, and we came down and went sideways, almost barrel rolled the boat. So uh, it, we had our hands full. Great course here in Key West, though. I mean, it is a world championship course because it throws everything at you, rough water, calm water. You know, you, you were working yourself out for an hour on this course. Well, the first three places in Factory 2 and 1 have to be checked on the dyno to make sure they have the qualifying horsepower, which is 500 apiece. They can't be over that or they will be disqualified. There's still more racing. The Superboats are heading out to the course and we'll be back with the biggest and fastest race boats of all. Welcome back to Key West for the Fountain Superboat World Championship. Jim Hendrick, along with Stan Lane, the big boats are getting ready for their day's action. And that brand new boat there, Big Thunder Marine, will battle Planet Man and Pier 57 Fountain. In the Superboat Limited, Blue Lightning Marine, Team Jaguar, Snack Attack, Bandit Racing, all getting ready to start this race. In Super V, led by V1, Fountain Electronics, followed very closely by V8, Rear Roses, Cigarette. And the Super V Limited, the Pier 57 and the Shockwave will do battle, as will in the Supercat Limited, Peppers will lead the way. In round number one action, in Superboat class, the Planet Man led most of the race, but watch in turn number one, he had an accident with the Rear Roses. Right there, watch it. And that knocked both boats out of the race. Team Planet Man extensively damaged with the collision with Rio Roses. You guys have been breaking your backs getting this thing fixed for two days now. Will it be fixed in time, Russ? Yes, Sam. Uh, we have a uh, race on our hands. Um, we're working around the clock, changing motors, fiberglass in a complete boat. We have major structural damage front and rear. Um, we just want to get it done. Um, we have a, a, a big race. Uh, they say it won't be done, but uh, we'll have it done for the race. And Bob Morgan, along with Lauren Leibo, capitalized in the Big Thunder Marine, and they took home the checkered flag in round one. Here, 57 was second. Planet Man with the injured boat finished third. And Jim, in Super V, this boat right here, Fountain Electronics, was dead in the water, but they got the boat restarted. They had to make up some valuable ground, which they almost did, but in the end, Firewater took home the checkered flag. And here's how the points factored out. Firewater in first place, followed by Fountain Electronics, but Jim, it's very, very close. Top four finishes. In Superboat Limited, averaging about 135 miles an hour. It was a back and forth fight all day long between these three boats, the Bandit, Snack Attack, and Team Jaguar. Ah, oh, Jim, it was just great racing. Unbelievable, unreal. I mean, they, they, the lead changed at least a dozen times. And after all that action, in round one, it was Bandit racing, outlasting the Snack Attack and the Team Jaguar. And Super Cat Limited Zip Express was your round one winner. Good job. Outlasting Peppers and the rest of the fleet. Now the Super V's and Super Boats and the Super Boat Limiteds are getting on plane. We're starting today's action. And I'm just a waiting because this is going to be a goodie. You saw that big 42 foot fountain, yellow fountain uh, with the yellow flag. These boats will fall in behind him. They'll form a straight line when he sees that all the boats are evenly matched. He'll lower the yellow flag. He'll raise the green flag. And this race will be official. And it is right now as we speak. The Super Boats take the lead in the start. Big Thunder Marine right beside the Planet Man, and here they come down towards turn number one. Look at the size of those rooster tails, upwards of 30 to 40 feet in the air as they trim those drives up, those huge number six drives, and these boats will be hitting speeds, Jim, of 160 plus miles per hour. Right now, though, it is dead even Planet Man and Big Thunder Marine as we jump on board Planet Man. 
Oh, you hear him come off them throttles when he lifted up, just so that they didn't wind him up too tight? Good Artie, work. Artie, I'm sorry, Jim Artie hitting 158.7 on GPS. That's really moving, Stan, and now we move aboard the big Thunder Marine, Lauren Libel, along with Bob Morgan, heading for turn number one in pretty good water here. Look at that beautiful shot off the stern of Big Thunder Marine, a brand new boat in competition today. To the casual SBI offshore fan, this may look like the original four-engine Big Thunder boat that has done so well over the years, but Bob Morgan, this boat is brand new, and there are some major differences. There are some real major differences in this boat. It's lighter, the tunnel is a foot wider, the airflow is much better than the other boat. It thinks it's real light. <laughs> and it showed it in round number one. Also, uh, your safety canopy, and instead of having the two separate canopies, now you've got the one canopy. What are, what are the pros and cons of that? The, the airflow over the boat is a real plus for the single canopy, and the people in the boat, when Lauren and I are in the boat together, if we would lose our intercom, we can do hand signals. We're in the twin canopies. You can't see each other. You don't really know what's going on on the other side, and that helps tremendously. Well, Big Thunder Marine and the Pier 57 Fountain with Art Lilly and David Woods in that cockpit, averaging about 152 miles an hour, battling out for second place. Art Lilly and David Woods, a tremendous team. These guys have been around the block several times, and they know how to screen that big 46-foot boat. As we have our second start, the second wave now, Jim. These boats are getting up on playing the Super Vs. These boats can hit speeds of 140-plus uh, miles per hour in perfect water conditions. No prettier sight to a boat racing fan than a start. Aboard the Zip Express 777. Let's try cutting the belt in here. That's all right. We're fine. We're right here. Throttle man and driver talking to each other. We're good. On board now, 03 Blue Lightning Marine. Separate safety cockpits, F-16 fighter canopies. Should the boat roll over. Safety always in utmost uh, consideration in SBI offshore racing. We're going to pan out now, give you an overall view of the water conditions. They're still pretty good, Jim, but they are roughening up as we go along. The Super Cat Limited chasing the number 31 bankbeaters.com, who is first in class, doing very well here in the early part of race number two. Yeah, my big buddy Doug Kelly on board that boat. Doug cruises around that 502, keep against boss hoss all the time, Jim. Overall leaders coming into turn number three and getting airborne, Planet Man followed by Big Thunder Marine and the Pier 57 Fountain. The three superboats all bunched up. And I got to tell you, those helicopters have a hard time keeping up with these superboats because those helicopters can't run 170. Here's that battle for second as the Pier 57 with Art Lilly and David Woods goes by Big Thunder Marine down here in the harbor turn. Of course, Kim Chisuli is leading in class. Off to the left, the Pier 57 Fountain trying to catch Big Thunder Marine. We can see it from the stern camera. This Big Thunder Marine boat is so fast, so efficient in the turns because he's the only boat in the fleet that has four props biting the water and pushing that boat in the turns. A V80 popped by Fountain in the bay turn, being chased by Fountain Electronics. They're second in class and a good battle going as they go out toward turn number one for the second time. Two Fountains leading the way in Super V as we jump on the stern cam of V80 Popeye Fountain. Listen, those superchargers whine, those belt-driven blowers ramming that fuel-air mixture into those big block motors. We're gearing up. Lots more action to come. Don't you go away. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome back to Key West for the Fountain Key West Superboat World Championships. Ahoy there, mateys. Welcome to Key West. That looked like Kim Shizuli, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, he's got a couple of birds, doesn't he? I think he does. Meanwhile, coming into the outer harbor for the tightest turn on the course, it's a great Super V limited battle between the Pier 57 Fountain and the Shockwave. Look how tight that turn is, Dan. That well, certainly is. Those two fountain boats are doing great. Let's check out Rear Roses now, followed closely by Team Jaguar. And lucky to be in the race. We need to win today and um, we can do it. I remember back in 93 when we won the world championship after the first day, we were in sixth place. Thought there was no chance of winning it. The wind kicked up, the water got rough, and we came through and won, and we wound up being the overall winner. So we're not out of it yet. 
Wow, look at that major damage on that boat. And uh, Phil, I talked to him earlier, he was all banged up. I asked him what he's going to do about the sprained ankle, and he said limp. Mm -hmm. And he's getting a rough ride today as he fights that wheel on the course. V8, Rio Roses, keeping Team 4 Jaguar just behind them. Let's jump on board, Team Jaguar, the bow cam. Let's check out the GPS, Jim, 138.6 miles per hour. And these guys had some problems in round one. We were running super in the first race, and um, it started coming apart on us. Water got in there and uh, just started taking the laminates apart. And luckily, we did make it to the end. Uh, I lost my trim. I mean, it was just a, a whole bunch of problems. But uh, everything seemed to work out pretty good because we made it back out of the water. Checking out the rest of the Superboat Limiteds. Eight, Snack Attack, the number eight, and 31, Bandit, dueling out in second place in class. And that's a Super Cat Limited boat. That's the bank beaters making a very, very wide turn. They're going to lose valuable ground on that turn. In the Super Cat Limiteds, here's the Montano, Briarwoods leading the Blue Lightning and the Triple Seven Zip Express. But it's very, very close racing in this class. He's losing parts of his boat. Be careful, I don't know what he lost, but some stuff flew right off. Apparently, Debris Jim is coming off the number 37 Montano boat. Let's go back and take a re-look at that and see if we can see Debris flying off this boat here. Looks like it may have, may have been a hatch off the engine. We'll have to wait to see. That could be dangerous. The Sip Express and the Montano continue their side-by-side -side battle coming into the tight turn. The Sound of Power Superboat International Racing. The V21 Firewater. He's third in class here today, but he won round one, and he has some strategy going into today's race. We're going to pace ourselves, take it... Uh as easy and cautious as we can and uh, try to finish the race. Brief, concise, and to the point as always, let's check out Joe Scrow and Peter Meyer, the boys from Dubai Diddy, New York City. They're doing a good job today. Let's hope they don't break down like they did in round one, Jim. 130 plus mile an hour, and look at Dominic Visconti coming on in the V80 Popeye. Jim Dyke, the veteran on the throttle. And they're about to lap Fountain Electronics if Fountain Electronics is not careful. A sound of power in the cockpit. Dominic, after round one, Team Popeye in fourth place, but you're not really out of it totally, are you? No, we're not. Uh, we're not out of it. Certainly, it's it's a long shot for us to win today. All we can do is go out there and push as hard as we can and to try to bring home a victory today. Understanding uh, round one, you had a very unusual problem that doesn't doesn't hardly ever happen. We had a, a very minor problem with a, a carburetor on one of the engines, but unfortunately it put us out of the race. It's one of, those, uh, one of those incidents that occurs where it's a very inexpensive part that ruins your day. V80 Popeye Fountain leading in class today and not showing any signs of that carburetor problems on this round. Well, actually, each one of those motors has two carburetors, dual four barrels, dual quads. they got eight barrels ramming fuel air into those motors. Here's the planet man, Tim Chasuli, the driver. Russ Houston on the throttles. They lead not only in class, but overall here today. Jim, they spent over $20,000 getting that damage fix and worked all night long on this planet man boat. The crew did a great job. They're great guys too, not only competitors, but they're gentlemen, and they are very competitive. Feet scrubbed off now on that turn, down to about 122 on GPS, and then they'll pick it back up, get upwards. They've been hitting uh, close to 160, Jim. I'm, I'm sure they're holding back a little bit, trying to, to keep the equipment all together. And the Pier 57 Fountain and the Thunder Marine, Big Thunder, still going at it for second place, side by side. Great racing here. Now, let's bear in mind this Big Thunder boat that we're on board right now has four engines. He carries a lot more fuel than the other boats, but when that fuel burns off, the boat lightens up and becomes faster as the day wears on. Well, the Planet Man is leading overall, and here is Big Thunder Marine now starting to pull away from the 57th Fountain. You can see him in the background. A stern camera off the Big Thunder Marine shows him gaining and pulling away from Pier 57. 160, 162, 165. Jim, they are climbing up now. Great races, and we'll be back with the finishes. Don't go away.
Well, welcome back, everybody. As Fountain presents the Superboat World Championships from Key West. I'm Stan Lane along with Jammin' Jim Hendrick. We are having a great time, Jim. And we talk about big toys for big boys. This is a veritable toy chest right here at the World Championships. Just check out all that action. Ah, toys and lots of fun here at the World Championships. And Bernie Little, we're aboard his boat, 143 foot. And it's called the Starship. And I understand you have a 172 footer somewhere. Uh, yeah, we do, Jim. It happens to be sitting in Miami as we're, as we're speaking. And, uh, but I could only use one at a time, so here we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you're here to support John Carbonell and SBI, and you still have that lure. After being a world champion many times in this sport before, you still come back. Well, yeah, I do. Uh, you know, John Carbonell is a very dear friend, and uh, uh, when uh, Al Copeland still supports him, and I've always support, supported him, and uh, uh, got a lot of love for him, he and his wife, and... Uh, so anything we can do to give him a hand to help the sport, we'll certainly do it. Where there's boats, there's Bernie. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I've always said, Jim, if you can't be rich, have rich friends. And we certainly do, don't we, buddy? Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> Back to the action on the water now. 37 Montana with a slight lead over 777 Zip Express, despite the Montana having lost some body parts. Here's the Popeye coming into the harbor. The 80 leading in class. Let's go aboard that boat right now. You see how those deep V's lean over almost at a 45 degree angle through the turns, whereas the catamarans corner almost flat. The Fountain Electronics boat also leaning over, and Peter Meyer wants to lean on the Popeye boat. That Popeye boat is a big fountain. Uh, he's going to be tough to beat. Uh, hopefully we have enough speed to take him out in somewhere along the course, and we're going to have our fingers crossed, and that's where it's going to be. Meanwhile, the V8 Field Roses, after having that collision with the Planet Man in round number one he is fourth in class today, not riding his... Oh, my cut. goodness. Firewater just almost spun, Jim. Woo. That was too close for comfort. Took a wall of water on the turn, and he said there was quartering winds and came down wrong. But look, right back in the fray. Didn't even hesitate. Let's go back and check this out one more time. In the turn now, they're a little hot here. They're going to gonna turn the wheel, and the, the rear of the boat is going to spin out a little bit, and they almost lost it. Got a, little, got a little wet, too, didn't they? <laughs> oh, they took on a lot of water, and they're very lucky to come out and continue racing. Excellent recovery. So the V-21 Firewater survives a near accident, and they are remaining third in class. And already back up to 132 miles an hour. <laughs> Amazing. The Zuber V Limited Class Shockwave and Pier 57 are battling. Currently first in the Super V Limited is the Shockwave. You know, it's just amazing how these V-bottom boats are just dominated by the fountain, the fountain marquee. Whoa, the Team Jaguar flying by. Leaders now in Super Boat Limited. Back on board now, number four, Team Jaguar. This is our bow cam. You see those beautiful uh, cruise line ships in the background. Almost 10,000 people here today for this race, Jim. Super Boat Limited, the Bandit and Snack Attack, battling for second in class. As the sun starts to set, you see the reflection off the water. That makes it extremely hard for these drivers to see, but they're doing a good job of negotiating this course. When they come in toward the harbor, they have the sun at their back, and they have a better visual view of the race course. Montano, Briarwoods, second in Superboat Limited. Whoa, 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 no, no! Oh, my God! Uh-oh, Jim, I think I started to say that they've saved it, but it looks like they, they may have caused some damage, some delamination. They almost spun the boat, and it looks like they're taking on water because already the stern is sitting down. Let's go back and check out this action. Coming into the turn at over 100 miles per hour, the boat got upset. The rear end spun out. They nearly barrel rolled. You saw some more damage. The boat was already damaged, but now they are taking on water, and it's, <laughs> the boat is sinking fast. Well, you're right, they did have a lot of damage, and it is sinking, and luckily the crew is off the boat, but the boat will have to be towed back in partially underwater. B-21 Firewater, we are on board that boat right now. Bob Oliver doing a good job there as he throttles this super-fast fountain around this course. The Planet Man, here he comes! The checker flag is winning the 19th lap, and the overall winner, Tim Chichuli, Russ Houston, are the winners here today. And Big Thunder Marine coming in second. Will they have enough points to be world champion? We'll have to tabulate it up, Jim. The Big Thunder Marine 
by tabulation from SBI is your world champion. And a second place today combined with the first place in round number one gives them the world championship for Bob Morgan, born libel in a brand new book. And V.A.D. Popeye Fountain, your winner in class today, but the world championship in Super V is Firewater. It's been a great day of racing. We'll be back with the winning drivers after this timeout. The Fountain Key West World Championships has been brought to you by Fountain Power Boats because there is a difference. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. And by Seminole Indian Casinos, catch the excitement. And by Entertainment Coaches of America, the preferred coach of the stars. A great day of racing, a great crowd, and down in the pit area, Stan Lane is standing by Superboat Chief John Carbonell. John, another successful race. The 2001 World Championships are in the books. We had a huge crowd here this year. Sure did, and another good uh, news that we had today that uh, Reggie Fountain, our series sponsor, has uh, uh, signed a contract uh, to proceed with us for next year. That's great. You know, the fan base just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and I understand we're going to go to some new places perhaps next year. Yeah, it's a little bit early to actually name them spots right now, but we're negotiating with uh, some of the race sites to uh, increase the number of races that we have. Here's today's final order of finish. Planet Man winning, Big Thunder Marine second, Pier 57 third. But overall, after two days of action, your world champion is the Big Thunder Marine, Planet Man second, Pier 57 third. SBI Offshore Racing, the biggest, the fastest race boats in the world, and you are the world champion of that class, so that makes you guys the big dog once again, Bob Morgan. We are. We're the big dog again, 98 and 2001. Lauren Leibel did it. My crew did it. They worked their buns off all the time, and that's what did it. We were just out there riding around having a good time. Now, Planet, Team Planet Man putting the gauntlet down, he, he was hoping you guys would come out and chase him, but you guys played it very, very smart, didn't you? Yeah, we, we knew what we wanted to do to win this championship, and we couldn't be uh, kind of lulled into a situation where we start trying to race him really, really hard and break and then blow the championship over ego. He ran a really good race, very formidable, and we just did what we had to do to keep Pier 57 behind. It was tough a few times. He was running quite well, and uh, it was just a matter of holding him back and then finishing so that we could bring home this title. It's a tough one to win. In the Superboat limited final results today, Team Jaguar led the field to victory. Overall, after two days' events, the winner is Team Jaguar, your world champion for 2001. Joe, Rick, great run. You are world champions, and I know that's got to feel good. Well, let me tell you, we talked earlier. I told you I was going to let it eat. We let it eat. The repair work held together. The mechanical work, Castelline Marine, unbelievable job. It was just, everything came together for us. And of course, my driver did a fantastic job. Me, I should be doing a good job after 20 years, so. Plus, my old girl. <laughs> Check it out, the Super V final results. Popeye Fountain with 503 points. But your world champion, when it all boiled down, when the spray settled, it was Firewater with a great job. A very happy team. A great effort for two solid days, and you are the world champion. That's correct, Jim. I'll tell you, with the crew we have and my problem in here, Rich, and this dependable Stotler power that we have, uh, we were able to come in second today and first on Wednesday, and we're world champions. In the Super V Limits, Pier 57 Fountain outlasted Shockwave today and also is your world champion for 2001. Your Super V Limited World Champions. Pier 57, guys, tremendous race today. Thank you, thank you. Had a good time out there today. Equipment ran well, the boat's fantastic. Matt's first time in the boat, he ran it like he ran it 100 times, and it was a nice ride. Matt, you got a big smile on your face. This boat screams, it's a fast fountain hull, isn't it? It really does scream, and it didn't do anything wrong today. It handled everything that we threw at it, and we had a real good race with the Shockwave team, and. And it was real close, and uh, at the end there, we just kind of put it to the wood and let her eat. You guys made David Woods and the big man, Reggie Fountain, very happy today. Thank you, thank you. Moving on to the Super Cat Limited. These are your final results. Zip Express taking a first place. And also, Zip Express is your 2001 world champion. Whoa, what a run. Great job, Dan Francis. 
Supercat World Champions, and they had a repeat. They were the winners here last year in Key West. They have won three races this year. And I'll tell you right now, repeating as world champions with back-to-back -back victories in both rounds, you guys have it all. Yeah, uh, Jim, we sure do. I'll tell you what, we came in last year, uh, won the world championship. We're looking to come back to defend our title. Uh, we did it. Uh, we came off a win in uh, New York with SBI. It was great. Thanks to Hydromotive, uh, Spectre Powerboats that really took care of us and are one of our sponsors, XG Ed. We had a great time and uh, just looking to uh, come back next year and uh, hopefully uh, win again. A great season for Superboat International, and it all came down to the fountain presenting the Key West World Championships here. Hardware for all the winners, and all during the week, we had many celebrities and legends that returned to the sport. John Carbonell there with, of course, legend Bobby Kaiser. Also, Al Copeland receives an award as one of the legends of Superboat International Racing. It's been so much fun, the competition has been so good, and the winners well deserved. On behalf of Stan Lane, I'm Jim Hendrick. Until next year, so long.